we can use the lit fog effect to simulate a variety of effects from rays of sunlight entering through a window to stage lighting. To create the appearance of light shafts or light rays, we generally follow a two-step process. First, prepare or modify a RenderWorks background to display the light rays, and then set the light source, which can be a point or a spotlight, to lit fog. When those two steps are done, the light shafts will be visible when we render. So let's open the exercise file 25.vwx and we'll go to the first step. The first step is to prepare a RenderWorks background. So in the Resource Manager, click on the New Resource button and now the Create Resource dialog box opens. We select RenderWorks Background and then click on the Create button. And when we do that, the, end, the Edit RenderWorks Background dialog box opens. Let's leave the background drop-down box at None. This exercise won't require any visible background in the scene, so we don't really need to put in a background for now. Then we'll give the new RenderWorks background a name, for example, Background 1, and then select the Lit Fog checkbox. This is a crucial item. This will cause the RenderWorks background to generate the, the effect of light rays coming in through the window. Now let's adjust the Lit Fog settings. Fog density, let's leave it at 50, 50%. Fog consistency, we can choose smooth or noisy. Noisy creates an effect that's similar to dust or smoke in the light, but let's leave it at smooth for now. And also select the Receive Shadows checkbox. Click OK to save the settings, and now let's exit the Edit RenderWorks Background dialog box. Now let's uh, go to the second part of the first step, which is to apply the new RenderWorks background to the design layer that the project is on. So we'll open the navigation palette and then select the design layers tab and then right click on the design layer containing the scene and we'll select edit. The edit design layers dialog bo box opens and in the edit design layers dialog box we'll click on the RenderWorks background drop down box and then select the new RenderWorks background that we created earlier called Background 1. Now we click OK to save the settings and close the dialog box. Now we'll go to the third part of the first step which is to apply the new RenderWorks background to a sheet layer viewport. So let's go to the sheet layer Interior 1 that's already part of this file. Select the viewport and then open the Object Info Palette. And with the Object Info Palette open let's click on the Shape tab and near the bottom of the Object Info Palette, we'll click on the RenderWorks Background drop-down box and select the new RenderWorks Background that we created earlier, which is Background 1. So now we've applied the new RenderWorks Background that we created to the Design Layer, and we've also separately applied it to the Sheet Layer Viewport. Now let's go to Step B in the entire process, which is to set the Light Source to Lit Fog. And it's important to note that point and spotlights are the only light sources that can generate this lit fog effect. Directional lights, such as the ones found in a heliodon, for example, won't, won't generate this effect. So we'll switch back to the design layer and now place a spotlight in the scene just outside the window. And we'll use that to simulate the sunlight coming through the window. And then point the light through the window and into the interior of the space. Now the light is selected so we can see the settings in the Object Info Palette and let's just make sure that the settings in the Object Info Palette match the ones in the screenshot in the chapter. So take a look at that screenshot and, and set up the, the settings the same way as shown there, at least for this exercise. The important uh, settings to match for this case are Spread, Beam, Pan, and Tilt settings, which is near the bottom of the palette. And now in the Object Info Palette, make sure that the Lit Fog checkbox is selected. Without it, we won't see the Lit Fog effect. And then finally, we'll go to Save View 1 and Render. In this case, we'll render in Fast RenderWorks, but we can also render in Final Quality RenderWorks. And we can also use one of the RenderWorks Realistic Styles that we'll talk about later. But, the, but those styles will need to be modified 
or at least need to have their backgrounds modified to include lit fog.